The AnyCubic Cobra S1 Combo promises high-speed multicolor printing, a built-in filament dryer, and a price that undercuts the competition by a mile. But can it really compete with heavyweights like Bamboo X1 Carbon or the P1S? And is it the printer you should buy or replace your current machine with? Nine, six, nine. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into our experience with the Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo. After weeks of testing, multicolor prints and a few late night troubleshooting sessions, we've got some mixed feelings. So let's break it all down. The touchscreen interface is functional, simple and responsive. It's not flashy, but it does the job. And if you're new to 3D printing, the setup guide walks you through the basics without too much guesswork. While installing the slicer, here and there there were some hiccups, but in the end we got through it. So clearly, it wasn't the Bamboo Lab experience. There is also no LiDAR, no ultra smart tuning, no polished cloud ecosystem. This is a different category, and that's okay, because it's priced like it too. Now let's talk about the real reason most people are looking at this combo. The Ace Pro Multi-Material System. This attachment brings the wow factor. You can print up to 8 colors or materials. And the system works surprisingly well most of the time. It handles filament switching with good precision. And once dialed in, it's reliable. Compared to Bamboo Labs AMS, it's less polished, but more affordable. With the AMS, you're paying for seamless integration and full slicer control. With the Ace Pro, there is a bit more tinkering involved. Also, the built-in filament dryer is loud, like noticeable loud. If you're in a shared space, it's going to be a background hum you can't ignore. It doesn't have independent controls, which is a shame. Anycubic claims the Cobra S1 Pro is ultra quiet and compared to the Bamboo P1S and the X1 Carbon, yes, it definitely is. But it's not what we'd call ultra quiet. Good belt tensioning and a sturdy gantry setup. But it does have some vibration, especially at high speeds. And that can slightly affect the surface quality of detailed prints. Talking about detailed quality prints, let's hear about our sponsor. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders, and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. When you compare it to something like the Creality K2 Plus, or even the Bamboo H2D, you'll find out other ultra-quiet printers are quieter still. So take the marketing with a grain of salt. Print quality is a strong point for the price. With a little tuning, you'll get good dimensional accuracy, solid layer adhesion and fairly clean multicolor transitions. Most hobbyists will be more than happy with the results. But when you put it next to a Bamboo X1 Carbon or even P1S, it becomes clear that the Cobra S1 Combo is a notch below. The Bamboo machines give you ultra crisp edges, smoother finishes and better results on tricky geometries. Don't get me wrong, this little guy looks awesome, but on closer inspection you'll notice minor stringing, occasional color bleeding and slightly visible layer inconsistencies. In terms of speed, it's pretty fast, especially for multicolor prints. It's not slouch, it just lacks the polish of more premium systems. Now, let's talk numbers. The Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo 
comes in at less than half the price of the Bamboo X1 Carbon and around 200 euros cheaper than the P1S combo. You're basically getting 70 to 80 percent of the capabilities for 40 to 50 percent of the price. That's a huge value proposition if you're budget conscious or just entering the hobby. But here's the catch. If you already own a P1P, P1S or X1 Carbon, should you sell it for the Cobra? We wouldn't. Not unless you're really struggling to justify the premium costs. The Cobra is fun, affordable and capable. But it doesn't replace a top tier machine in terms of quality, ease of use or ecosystem. Over a few weeks of use, we had most great experiences. Multicolor printing has been fun and the machine has been reliable enough that we weren't babysitting every job. But we did run into some issues. Filament loading on the Ace Pro can be a bit finicky at times. The slicer isn't as intuitive as Bamboo Studio and the fan noise from the dryer has become a bit of a household joke at this point. So here is the verdict. The Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo is a fantastic machine for its price point. It's fun, it's fast and it opens up the world of multicolor printing without draining your wallet. If you prioritize budget and versatility and you're okay with being a bit of tinkering then this is a no-brainer. But if you value polish and out-of-the-box perfection the X1 Carbon and the P1S are still king. In our book, this machine earns a solid 7 out of 10. It doesn't replace the Bamboo X1 Carbon, but it might make you think twice before buying one if you're just getting started. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Drop your questions or your own experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think of the Cobra S1 combo. Thanks for watching and as always, happy printing. Bye!